Hello and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Matt Soderbeer. And I'm John McCooch. Today we'll give you the latest from across campus, the tri-state area, and the globe. We'll also have your five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. Seton Hall Esports, in partnership with Seton Hall Athletics and the U.S. Army, invite you to participate in the inaugural Rocket League Showdown. Entry is free for all Seton Hall students who think they've got what it takes to be the best Rocket League player in the Pirates Nation. The winning player will take home a variety of great prizes, including a gaming headset, Seton Hall Athletics gear, and tickets in the front first row of the student section to the Seton Hall vs. Iowa men's basketball game on November 16th. Registration is open now through October 21st, with the tournament taking place on October 22nd. The semifinals and finals will be streamed and hosted live in the Seton Hall Gaming Lab. Seton Hall Chorus performs in Bernstein Candide. The Seton Hall University Chorus will be singing in a concert version of Bernstein's Candide with a cast of Broadway and opera performers. Seton Hall's own Jason Tram will lead the Light Opera of New Jersey Orchestra and a cast of over 60 singers in the performances, which will be held on October 22nd and 23rd at the Dorothy Young Center for the Arts in Madison, New Jersey. Now we will send it over to Jade Holmes for the weather. Jade? Hello, I'm your weather anchor, Jade Holmes, here to give you your five-day forecast for the South Orange area. This week is filled with sunny days. Today, expect a very sunny day with a high of, 40, with a high of 55 and a low of 41. Tomorrow will be a windy day with a high of 53 and a low of 35. The windy day continues into Thursday with a high of 55 and a low of 37. This weekend, expect warmer days. On Friday, with a high of 62 and a low of 37, Prepare for a beautiful fall day. On Saturday, the warmest day this week, we will have a high of 66 and a low of 41. That will wrap up our five-day forecast for the South Orange area. Once again, I'm your weather anchor, Jade Holmes. And now let's head back to the desk. Let's head back to John and Matt and Matt to the desk with more news from around the world. Thanks, Jade. Rutgers University has introduced a new strawberry that is perfect to dip in chocolate. The strawberry is named the Rutgers Delight and has been worked on by plant biology professor Joko Jelenovic for 30 years. His idea was to create a better tasting strawberry that everyone can savor. The Rutgers Delight is built so that proper airflow and sunlight can create the mouth-watering red berries. The strawberries are licensed to Indiana and Berry Plant Company and farmers and gardeners are eligible to purchase them. Stuart Carroll, Associate Professor of Elementary and Early Childhood Education at TCNJ, has been selected by the U.S. Department of State for the Vir Virtual English Language Educator Program. The project will allow Carroll to engage virtually with English language teachers and learners online at SUNY State University in northeastern Ukrainian city of Sumy. Carol, who has been at TCNJ since 1998, is among the first in the country to be selected for this new program that just got underway for the 2022-2023 academic year. Halloween candy is slated to be up over 10% for spooky season. This is the largest jump the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, has ever recorded. The price of candy has increased 2% since August, sugar is up over 17%, and flour prices are up nearly 25%. It's estimated that Americans will spend just over $3 billion on candy this year. A typical $15 bag of candy with a 13% inflation rate would add nearly $2 onto the total. The cop doesn't directly report of the close, but it seems as though the prices of costumes have gone up 20, for 2022 as well. Inflation of 8.2% across the board over the last 12 months in America is a main cause of the ca candy price hike. Greece's electrical grid ran on 100% renewable energy for the first time ever. This clean energy was able to sustain Greece's electrical demands for five hours on Friday. The Independent Power Transmission Operator, or IPTO, reported this as the energy source broke a record, reaching 3,106 megawatt hours of electricity. The company which owns and operates the Greek electrical transmission system says the achievement will open the door to making its energy mix greener in coming years. As of 2019, Greece's total energy consumption ranks 52nd in the world and uses about a third of the energy the U.S. uses. That's going to wrap up today's episode of Pirate News. I'm John McCooch. And I'm Matt Sodebeer. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day.